Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So this is my very first kind of daily routine video. I actually love watching these videos. I don't know why, but they're super addicting. So I figured I'd come on here and film my own. So this is a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom of two. So the first thing I do is I like to open up all the windows. I do this throughout the entire house. And then because we read books at night, I just keep them by the bedside and we have a drawer connected to the bottom of our bed. So I put all the books in there. So it's super easy to reach. And my kids right now are playing in the playroom. So I have some time to just make up the bed in our room picking up little miscellaneous things to clean up and then I'll go in and brush my teeth and wash my face I like to first start off with this La Roche Posay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a foaming cleanser. I love how it treats my skin and I massage my skin while I'm washing it as well. And then I go in with this product by Lancome. It's helping with my texture and helping to smooth and brighten my face. I also use this on my eyes, which is Juice Beauty's uh, soothing eye concentrate and then I go in with this new product that I've been using by The Ordinary. It's called Azalea Azeliac acid and it's also supposed to help with brightening and smoothing out the texture of your skin And then next I go in with sunscreen. I never go a day without it. This is just a CVS brand I like that it's SPF 50. It's really really great for my skin It's not super greasy or thick and then what I like to do is use this mineral sunscreen by Beauty by Earth All over my neck the back of my neck my chest my shoulders a little bit on my ears and then the rest on my hands And then my husband didn't really like this um, anti-shine gel which kind of helps keep your skin mattified it's for men but since he's not using it anymore I decided to use it and I like it the next thing I do is just pick up any random clothes or toys off of the floor and then I go into my daughter's room to make up her bed opening up the blinds and usually she helps me but she's playing really well with little brother and her whole room is unicorns right now so I just love going into this room and now I like to go downstairs into our kitchen and open up the blinds. I'm sorry, the camera is shaking and I don't really like a ton of crap on top of the kitchen counter, but we had some stuff delivered late last night. So that's all on the counter, which I'll clean up in a second. It is already so hot outside. So I'm just gonna put the shades up a little bit. We have top down bottom up shades, which is really convenient. And then these flowers are on our counter right now. I picked up these flowers the other day and my husband actually thought that they were fake. He bought these roses for me and he also puts a little rose that's for our little daughter just by itself because she loves that. And then these hats we just got delivered last night. They are from Cooley Bar. We bought these because it's so hot and I just love the protection it gives our kids. Um, and then this one is a sun hat, but it's in a fedora shape, which is Oh, I actually love, love the shape of these like sun hats that look like a fedora because they don't look super goofy. They also have a tie on the bottom so you can make sure that it doesn't fly off of your head if it's super windy. And here are a couple of things I picked up from Target yesterday. This is Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner in Spearmint, the Multi-Surface in Citron, and then the Glass Cleaner in Mint. And then I always bring down a few blue cleaning cloths downstairs. I also picked up these cute seven by nine canvases for the kids to paint on. Since it's been so hot outside, this keeps them busy. Then I just came back from walking our two dogs. The brown one is Chloe, and then the one on the right, the white one is Capri. The first thing I like to do in the morning is make myself some lemon water. So I go ahead and squeeze one big giant lemon. I found these, I was so happy that they were this huge size. I usually rub all of the lemon juice all over my hands and then I cut tiny little pieces of a little sliver and then place them at the bottom of our garbage disposals to keep it smelling nice and fresh. And then I go ahead and pour the lemon juice into my mug and then hot water. And then I follow it up with honey. People use maple syrup in this recipe, but I like to use honey. And then a little dash of cayenne pepper. I actually like to use two to three because I just, I love it and I can stand the heat. And then I stir it up with a fork and this is really good for just cleansing. And I just love the way it makes me feel. I used to drink coffee right away in the mornings, but now I drink this. And then for the kids, they prefer 
pancakes or oatmeal or waffles. So whenever I make pancakes, I like to make a big batch so that I don't have to keep cooking pancakes over and over again. So I just keep them in the refrigerator or in the freezer and then heat them back up. Sometimes I like to make pancakes homemade or I just buy this brand right here, which is called Birch Benders. I like that it's non-GMO. The ingredients are on the back. It's very simple and all you have to do is add water. The kids love it and it's super tasty. Sometimes they eat it without syrup. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then toast it. So they're a little bit more on the toastier side. And now they're going to watch some story bots <laughs> and he's gonna show you his big smile because he's so happy. And then I didn't know if you have kids and you've never watched this show, but it's called Storybots. It's really fun music, really funny, and it's very educational. So if you are looking for a new show, I suggest you find that, it's on Netflix. And then this is our downstairs bathroom, which I like to clean every other day because this is the bathroom that we all use. And what I like to do is spray the counter first, let that sit, and then I go ahead and wipe it down after the cleaning products have kind of worked their magic. And then I scrub the sink, rinse it all off, and then here I'm using that glass cleaner for the first time and it's really streaky. Perhaps I need to use something else besides a paper towel. I do have these reusable glass cleaner cloths, but they seem to leave streaks as well. So if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear from you. And so I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of the countertop items. I usually wash the um, soap dispenser off because it has soap all over it and then I'm going to use that method bathroom cleaner to scrub the toilet I like to use the cloth um, To wipe down the toilet, which is the last thing I'm going to use with that cloth after I'm done with it I throw it straight into the washer and I don't touch it because obviously it has all that bathroom stuff on it So I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the toilet and then the last thing I do is spray down the shower in this bathroom and scrub it up really, really nicely so that floor is white again. And then once the kids are fed, they're playing, and so I go upstairs to get ready just a little bit. I started curling my hair with this Con Air Instant Heat Curling Iron. It's one inch. I'm still trying to get used to this short haircut and styling it. So I've already applied some concealer. This is by Tarte, and then I set it with this ColourPop Sheer Pressed Powder. Now I'm just gonna go in to warm up my face. I use a little bit of bronzing all over, and then I go in with a little bit of blush. This um, palette is by Ish, and then I go ahead and line my tight line with some eyeliner. Use that same bronzer or contour powder to add some warmth to my eyes. And then once I curl my lashes, I started using this new mascara by Wet n Wild. It's kind of like the fiber lashes where you've got the mascara with the fibers. Look at how small my lashes are now. And then I go ahead and apply the product and then you're gonna see what it does to my lashes. It's so amazing. I'm gonna do a dedicated review just for that product. And then I put some waterproof mascara on the bottom lashes and then I go ahead and set my eyebrows. I started using this Amrezy highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's so freaking gorgeous. You need to get it. And then I just use some good old chapstick on my lips. Then I'm gonna try and tame these ends because I don't like how rounded it looks, but I don't think I'm doing a very good job. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray and then I just got this trio of Stila colored um, all day lip liquid lipsticks, but this nude one is super nude. I did not expect that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in with this mauve color for the perfect shade. Next, I'm gonna put in these earrings. These are Triangle Pave earrings by Ralph Lauren. They're super cute. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. Super casual day, just this white t-shirt I got from Nordstrom, and then these pants from Victoria's Secret, super high-waisted, and they got these like slit mesh detail in the knees. While the kids are having a dance party, I'm cleaning up the table from breakfast. I'm using that new cleanser from Method. I don't usually use paper towels to clean, so don't worry. I'm just using a leftover napkin and wiping down the table. And then I like to use this Dyson handheld vacuum. It's super convenient. Got it for Black Friday a couple years ago um, around Christmas time. It's just so nice to be able to push the vacuum around and not have to worry about a wire or a plug. 
Here is our fish tank, these beautiful fish and these corals and everything. My husband takes care of this tank. He is an ocean person, so he keeps it nice and beautiful. Got a couple of fish in here, and then also we've got a little baby crab. Maybe it's not a baby, maybe it's a full grown for the type of crab it is. There's a snail, and then this is another snail. They walk all over the tank. It's really cool. This one you'll see move. We absolutely love having this tank in our house. And then here are the kids. Luckily, they did not make a big mess while I was cleaning. And then I forgot to film this part, but my first kind of meal of the day, I make a smoothie. This is like a green smoothie. And then I just put it in this Hamilton Beach cup, which has a little blender at the bottom. So it's super convenient. We do have a blend tech, which is amazing. So I just bought this blender for personal smoothies. And then once I'm done with that, I go in for some cold brew coffee. I make my own. I bought this little carafe off of Amazon and it's really easy to use you just put the coffee grinds in there and I bought this also from Amazon this is specifically made for cold brew I like putting it in this Stanley mug because it keeps my drink super super cold it's got this one touch button so it's super convenient you don't have to unscrew anything to drink it it's just all in one lid and then you have to make sure that you open it up and clean it so you don't want any gunk in there so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the coffee over ice and then I have this Trader Joe's um, hazelnut coffee creamer which is amazing shake it up and add it to the cup and then shake that up and I'm caffeinated <laughs> so if we don't leave the house I like to make lunch for the kids they love mac and cheese but it has to be the cheddar kind they don't like any other flavor like the white kind of cheddar so I like to actually mix the cheese um, powder in a cup so it's nice and soft kind of like a Velveeta cheese if you will because if I add it right to the pasta it's kind of chunky and so here I like to go ahead and throw in one load of laundry per day that's what I've been doing I use this laundry detergent here by Boulder Clean and then the free and gentle downy and then I've also started adding this laundry sanitizer and then I've kept everything in this basket but we um, just bought a new house so when we move into a new house I'm not gonna have the green basket there will have a really nice setup for all of my cleaning agents and also the like washer and dryer kind of stuff in these cabinets we have a lot of other cleaning agents and gadgets when the mac and cheese is done I like to put them more in like plates because they cool off faster so once that's cooled off I have the kids sit down we don't watch TV when we eat dinner but for breakfast and lunch it's the only way to really keep them sitting and eating and so while they're eating I go ahead and clean up whatever is in the sink washing anything by hand that is not dishwasher safe and then also being mindful of how much water I use anytime I'm scrubbing or like cleaning the inside of a bottle or a cup I always turn the water off so maybe that's a really good tip that you can use for yourself and then I like to wipe down the counters making sure there's no water on the counters and then I don't have a green thumb but my mom gave me this little <laughs> plant and these like water beads and so I've been able to keep this plant alive which is I mean amazing I you guys I kill like succulents and cactus it's weird and then this is a bonsai that my husband takes care of he definitely has a green thumb I love this thing we've had it forever now I'm just putting away the items that I had washed in that one load And then jumping all the way to dinner, this Japanese style fried rice is from Trader Joe's and I use it with some avocado oil in the pan. Our kids love it. I'm also thawing out some Ono. This is from Costco and we love it so much. Even our kids love it. For the rice, I put a little bit of the avocado oil in the pan and yes, I am watching YouTube while I'm cooking dinner. And then I like to spread the oil all over the pan and then add the fried rice. It is so easy. Then I've already brushed some avocado oil on top of the fillets and then I use this lemon pepper seasoning that I got. It's called a true lemon pepper. I add a little bit more pepper because we love it so much. The oven is at 400 and then we bake it. So here is what the fried rice looks like. I added a couple of eggs for more protein for the kids. And because my husband and daughter decided to go to the pool really quickly, it's just me and my little man. He loved this rice. We're just eating dinner together before they show up, which is any minute now. So here they are joining us for dinner. She's still in her swimsuit and just enjoying the rice and the fish. 
And while they're finishing up dinner, I like to wash the sink out just from everything that's been going in there all day. I use some dish soap and then this brush that I've reserved just for cleaning the sink. And then once they are starting their bedtime routine, I like to clean up the dining room table, wiping it down, disinfecting it, all that jazz. And then I like to pick up any toys that we played with during the day. These are all the puzzles that my son loves to play with and I keep them downstairs because it's really convenient. I start closing all the blinds in the house and then what I like to do is take the kitchen towel and wipe down the stove top and the counters and then toss that into the washing machine. And then because my husband is taking over bedtime routine tonight, I'm going to sit here and finish editing my videos. So hopefully it's up by tomorrow. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.